Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to play multiple accounts on the same computer at once. So if you have children or something you can play, or playing with your friends, you can play multiple accounts on one computer. Of course it is going to require, well mostly two screens and monitors, but also two keyboards and mouses and stuff like that. It can work but it's difficult. Anyways, it's mostly useful for time lapses and stuff like that, so if you're into that sort of thing, this is going to be a video for you. Okay, let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to show you two ways of how to do this. I did show one of the ways about 10 months ago, but I'm going to show it once again anyways. The first one is going to be on the Minecraft launcher itself, like over here. And the second one is going to be using Multi-MC. So let's just get straight into the Minecraft launcher way. Okay, so with the Minecraft launcher, to do it, normally when you have an installation, you make a new one, you give it the name, and the release version, and then the game directory. And the game directory, directory is basically where all the files are stored. But if you want to have two instances of Minecraft on here, you need to make a secondary directory. So if you go to your .minecraft folder, go to it however you like, you can see here I have my normal .minecraft, I also have .minecraft dungeons, and I have my .mine slow game. That's my, my instance or directory for my slow game account, my, my camera account. But if you want to make a new one, let's just do it for the sake of this video. You make a new folder. I'm just going to make a dot folder so it's going to be in the top and we'll just call it um, mine test thingy, something like that. That's going to be fine. Okay, now this folder is empty and that's absolutely fine. We close that one down, go to installations new installation let's just call it mine test once again and then go to uh, game directory and press the browse over here then it's going to get you into here you can see the normal minecraft minecraft folder is already selected but we're going to change that to dot mine test you can see it down here and press okay actually i'm pretty sure you can you can even create your your own uh, folder. I know it's in Danish, but that's just how it is. And you can, I think, you can even create your own folder in here. So it's instead of doing it in the uh, using percent out data percent down there, but but that doesn't really matter. It's a little simpler doing th it the other way. Anyways, press OK and press Create. Then go back to play, and that's basically it. Okay, that's a bit far down. Um, there we have it, mine test. If I play this one, it's going to open up and then create all the files in in the directory in the what's normally the .minecraft folder. So when it's open here, it's going to open like, open like normal, even though the folder was absolutely empty. This also means that, of course, all your settings are absolutely out of nowhere going to be large and stuff like that and also you don't have any save files because well it's it's new it's a new instance so the save files are not carried over that can be fixed rather easy just okay that I don't th I think I've turned off music from this recording but our sound but that's fine okay so if you then yeah, then you can create a new account a uh, new uh, world but I'm not going to I'm going to open my my normal instance of Minecraft this one uses as you can see over here edit edit it's going it, it uses the um, default directory which is just dot Minecraft okay it's selected there already joined the game oh that's right <laughs> maybe I should say this um right now on this account it's my my uh, normal account I have to change that to my secondary account so now I can open this with the secondary account and 
press play and now I have two different accounts playing at the same time. And this one is, let's just get that one a little bit down so it's not so large. And this one of course have all my save files. Let's just open, uh, let's just open the YouTubes. This is a, a save or backup, so it's a little bit out of there. It's it's also, as you can see, my build over there is not there and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> also got my, I uh, got some achievements here because this account hasn't actually been on this save before, but it's the same save and it's single player, which is why I keep all the items. It's a bit weird, but, but that's just how it is. Okay, Anyways, if I open this to LAN, uh, let's just say cheats allowed, start LAN world. Now it's on here, it's a LAN world, and I'm going to go into a house because otherwise I'm getting killed maybe. That wouldn't be too great. And then if we change over to this one, multi multiplayer, uh, yeah, sure, that's probably fine. <laughs> I can see the LAN, LAN world, and if I just enter this one, everything is absolutely fine. And I can see my other account over here. How you doing? And if I change back to this one, I oh that's there we are. So I can I can see both. You can see me over there in the corner. And yeah, now I'm actually playing two accounts on the same computer, though I have to change between them because that's just how stuff works like that, okay? But yeah, that's how you do it with normal Minecraft launcher. Let's just disconnect all of this and this one as well. Then just this one back to my main account. Okay, that's basically how you do it with the Minecraft uh, launcher by itself installations. Then when you make a new one, change the game directory. We can just take a quick look in the actual new game directory here. The dot mine test. It got uh, got got a few things. The saves folder is uh, obviously empty. Resource packs there, no, and locks there, just a bit. And basically, this works. <laughs> yeah, that's not really more to it about that. Okay, now. The other way to do it is using MultiMC. MultiMC is a third party software and as I mean makes sense, right? MultiMC. Okay, so this is my normal at the moment I play using MultiMC because I have the replay mod installed on here. So basically how to get this, you go to their website multimc.org and then go to downloads and install. In download and install, yeah, and then you download the. I ob obviously I have only done it on Windows. I guess it's the same for Mac OS, and I don't know about Linux because um, yeah, I don't. So basically, you install this one and just hit the um, the um, exe button thing. There is a lot of tutorials how to set it up there's I guess one down here he's going through how to set it up and stuff like that maybe but it's important that you have Java for this you can search for it using okay like this if you have this file you're good to go and uh, once you start it up first of all it's going to ask you to select this one there's going to be a star out on the side of one of them and that's going to be the default one and that's going to be absolutely fine just press continue or finish or whatever and it's going to be fine and this window is going to open and it's going to be empty there's not going to be anything and it's completely white well except for the things around here um you can go over here and log into your account i do have both my accounts in here um using this i'm it's it's not probably the best thing to do, but using this you can actually play without an account. You don't have to have a, an account if I'm right. I might have misunderstood that, but I'm pretty sure that 
is how it is. But you can, of course, you can play it on multiplayer servers and stuff like that. Anyways, to make a secondary instance here, you just press add instance. Then you can choose which one it is. Right now it's just all releases. It can be with uh, main releases. You can choose snapshots, old snapshots, betas, and alphas, and experiments. There's also some FTB, I think FTB mod packs already preloaded into it, so you can just choose one of these if you want to use one of these. And that is pretty nifty, but we're just doing it vanilla style. So this is just going to be secondary instance right there. Instance, that's, I think that's right. And it's also going to be in 116.5. And uh, no group and fine. Okay, and now the secondary instance is there. The thing with this one, I think I can open this one. Yes, I can. Okay, so here, multi MC that you have to change, choose a place to place it. Obviously, then multi MC. You go into instances, and you can see your different instances. So I have one here. Can one. 16.5 going to that and I have another dot minecraft folder in here that's going to be the same with this one a dot minecraft folder and that just real right now is empty that's the same as before this one is going to be filled with all kinds of stuff and also have my same my safe worlds uh, obviously you can just copy over other safe files if you want to have them over here but that's basically now the same as before. So I'm going, you can open one of them using uh, your normal account. You can see it also up here. It says in use. So I mean that means it's in use. That makes sense, right? And just and I think it's a bit slower to open. I don't know if that's because it's using this or because I'm using a few mods. Well. I mean, I'm using the mod loader, I'm using the mod uh, replay mod and Optifine, that's about it. Anyways, as you can see here, now that's one, that one's open. But what's very good about this one, uh, you can do it relatively the same with the other, but it's a lot easier to make a... Let's just see if I change this one. It, you can see, first of all, you can see that this one is, just, is in use and that one's not. So now if I open this one, it's going to be in use as well. Other than that, it's the same as before. You can now open a land, land server or whatever in one of them and the other one, as you can see here. So now I can open a land server. Let's just do it in here. I'm going to use the test. I'm going to use a new world because I might have something in the test world that's not quite ready for the YouTubes. And there we are. Just turn over here and open to lane. Start world. I'm pretty sure that I've turned off music. But let's just make sure actually. It's the other one that has music in it. But this one's now open to land, right? Yeah, then go back to this one. First of all, kill the music. Multiplayer, sure, and this one. It's exactly the same as before. And now you can see, well, you can't because I'm in two different places, but down here you can see he now joined. So if I type something in over here, hey, I can see it over here as well. So it works, let's just Close all of these down. All of these. Okay, I <laughs> by accident started recording using the replay mode. And this one down, just delete it, quit. Okay, so what's so great about multi MC then? Well, first of all, it's you, you can have a lot of different instances and it's rather easy to see the different ones. I mean you can, of course you can see it the same with the normal Minecraft because you have the the drop down folder whatever but with this it's just easy because you can also rather easily just import um, those different mod packs here and you can also import from a 
zip file so if there is a instance somewhere on the websites of the interwebs you can just download the zip file and well either local link or file or whatever to the uh, the uh, download so oh that's actually pretty nice you can okay never mind i didn't really see that before but that's just i mean makes it a lot easier yes you can download one of the um what what are they called they are called uh mod pack launchers or whatever 50 beast has one and technic launcher there's that's another stuff like that twitch launcher as well i mean but but this just i mean it's easy it's one way to do it right anyways that is going to be it for today if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well if you want to see more it's a fluffy kitty <laughs> yeah I, I don't know um but yeah that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed it, and i'll see you in the next one